Hail brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meat Shield, and welcome back to the Sharnel House Trilogy. We're still on chapter 3, which is the last one. We're standing around chatting with Lydia. Weird little girl. Do you want a cigarette? Probably shouldn't give you one. Um, a music box. It's playing a beautiful, melancholy waltz. Indeed it is. I'm just going to kind of poke about and look at things. And... There's only one bag here. Yeah, there is. I sh right, okay. I have... Come back and see me later, okay? Okay, I will. I'm not going to do anything in here then. I'm going to go, shall I? Yes, I think I will. Maybe I should go see Don, ask if Lang's awake yet. Well, that's a good idea. Let's go and do that. Hey, Don, how are you doing? Hey. Even, miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but he was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now, and trust me, it's tempting. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Oh. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bob told you. How strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, I. Huh. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice Excellent the Excellent conversation lines there, Don. To who? Me. <coughs> Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Oh, getting aye. sassy. You're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, can we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, I. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mom? I thought you weren't wanting to talk about this stuff. Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Hang on. Hang on. You don't know anything about her. Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry, this conversation's creeping me out, okay? Oh, lassie. I... Whoa! Ah, balls. There we go, into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down, we're in this for the long haul. Well, what? yippee. Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. Well, it's a good job I've got a lighter then. Do you want this? Here, use this lighter. Good work, Lovely. Man. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Well, that sounds astonishingly unsafe. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I told him to be on his best behavior. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. Is it? What? The fuck? What? Where the hell did he go? Something is not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go and see if he's in. Probably not. He's probably a bag. No response. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. All right, let's go and do that then. <clears throat> oh, 
Which one was she in? To see, I think it was. Let's see what we got going on in here. Huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? Mm. You in there? Lydia? Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. And how are we going to do that? So are we going to set it on fire? Oh, fuck. Bloody mouse. Can I go through here? Is there anything I can use? Hello? Uh, Rob? Alex! Oh, Hello. fuck! You came! They said you would. You promised you'd call. You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? When Gavin left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh god, I forgot about that. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? You're... You're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination, like worms burrowing through the soil. From the skies, the predator swoops, zap, feast upon the eyes of God, darkness, silence. Then a sudden scream pierces the night. Rob, you're scaring me. You're weirding me out. I'm sorry, I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there. When you're done with the girl. Lydia? I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Put her belly. Find the key. Okay, that was a bit weird. What the fuck? What mm. the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. Okay, Let's see what it is. A knife! I might need this. Okay. I'm glad I have that. I can't reach over the ball. I'm not hungry. No food? No food for you? Okay. What the hell is going on with this place? This is really weird. Uh, 2C then? Right, can I use the knife to get myself in? Nah. Fire extinguisher? Nothing. They said... They sound... Yeah. No. Okay, I don't know what that means, but all right. They sound bit... Okay, how am I meant to get into this room? Wanna see? This is my own room, I think. Don't appear to be anything here that I can use. I've been sick. Right, okay, back out. Let's check one A. I, I shouldn't disturb. All right, maybe not. I probably shouldn't go in there. Engine room door, control panel. Okay. Um. Is there anything in my purse that I can use? Painting? Is there gonna be anything I can do with this? I have no reason to be pulling apart. She looks... the campus looks... I have no... Alright, well you think that there's something behind it, so why not just... pull the painting off the wall, maybe? Or have I gotta do something stupid like cut it open? Hmm... there's something here. Ah! Weird. There's a key here. It says it's the key to 2A. Okay, so you said you didn't want to do anything to the painting, but you're happy to take a steak knife to it? Okay, never mind. Let's go in here and see what horribleness waits for us. Oh, hello. Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. Where'd you get to? Uh, uh Sophia? Fuck. fuck. Jesus, Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey. You invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. 
I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Oh god, what? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his hands earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great, Carly too! Fuck this! Gavin is not here! You're not here! None of this is here! None of this is real? I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake. Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? I say, yeah, don't worry about it. Alex is just being her weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us! She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes! I'm stressed! I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, we do. A crowd of people. I can make out some of my friends. I don't want to talk to these people. They're not meant to be here. I don't think you are either. My trusty portable radio. Only now it's on a train when it should be in my apartment. You turn Isaiah it off. likes being in charge of the music. I'll leave it to him. Okay then. My friends. I don't know why they're on this train. Oh, my head hurts. Mmm. Mine too. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Okay, that Gavin and I thing from Isaiah was a bit ago. weird. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27. Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. Well, you're a bitch, aren't you? Alex? Gonna take a hit? Snort a line? Shoot up? Go out in a blaze of fucking glory? Throw it all away? Yo, I say it. You got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober, remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just cause you've gone through some shit, just cause you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. <sighs> Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Louis fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior won't bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Whoa. Okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. Okay, bye. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. It's been five years, and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey, listen, I'll talk to- Friendly Carly. atmosphere in here, then. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure, whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. What is it? An inhaler. Oh! Okay. Hey, 
case of yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I heard my door go for a second. I don't. I don't want. It. All right. Okay. I think we're all done in here for now. That was bloody Why weird. Do I feel so. Okay. Sick. Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh? The music stopped. And the door's open. What's going on? Oh, okay. What the fuck? Where'd everybody go? They're all they all turned into bag people. Fuck it. Why not? You can put the hat on, okay. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna have it with you. Oh, I suppose. Sure. Have the balloon? Lovely. Gathering things. A huge bag. I won't Right. Let's leave the bags. Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Okay, well then let's go and inspect that, shall we? Oh, someone answered that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. Is that gonna be in your I room? I think the ringing's coming from in here. Well then let's go and deal with it, shall we? It's gonna be under one of the seats. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, there we go. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago, and it's ringing. Withheld number. Oh, God, not again. Is it gonna be Gavin? Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe your... I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. Oh, this guy, this fucking guy. Oh, hello, fuck. Damn Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, lass. I should have not. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance call. He's dropping. Yeah, dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely it wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought, and he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Claudia, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well... That can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fella with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not lying. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight. Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage, in her compartment. Oh, well, right you are then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait, the guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. You seem to notice and not notice a lot of shit Jesus. done, so... Okay. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's 
okay, maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting, a little more real, but you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. True. What's this? Broken it's cell broken. phone. Okay, not going to use that then. Let's go and see what's going down in 1A. Shall we? I think we shall. Rob? Rob! Hey, Alex. Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. It's you, Rob. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you've said. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh, now he's trying to fuck with both of us. Great. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. Alex, I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. But I always wondered, you know? And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're a right pair, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Wait. Wait, what? No! But it's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is? The worm! The worm inside my head! Burrowing away inside my brain! Wriggling like a grub! Rob, stop it! Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? Yeah. I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. No, Creepy. stop! I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I watch over you. I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, Rob, no. Why? Why? Told you it was Rob. It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no good dirty boy. He just wants to use you. Wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time. And now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me and I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That is all kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king. The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. I don't think I want to. Horse Lindo. Don't you 
fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel. Can I set her on fire? Can I give her a party hat? Nah. No. Okay. I have. What can I do then? Can I stab her? Nah. What's the point in me having all of this stuff? Nah. I don't even want to... photos of me. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. How long has this been going on? I don't know. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? That tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. Hmm. Helpful. Can I set your nah. stuff on fire? Are you going to keep saying nah to everything? Nah. Oh, I am going to slap you. It's a porcelain doll. It... I think it has my hair. My actual hair. Oh my god. Alright, what can I do about it? Is there anything I can use? Nah. Do I just have to stab Rob? Oh. What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to god. No, you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Yep. Well, yeah. I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! Ugh. Well, that was a fucking waste of time, wasn't it? Kill for a cigarette right now. Well, guess what? We've got cigarettes. Nah. I'd like to say smoking is... There we go. I'm going to smoke, Ugh. okay? I need to relax. Smoking will kill you, Alex. Good. Jesus Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine. All right, what's that done for me? Nah. Anything? Lit cigarette. Nah. Do you want a toke? Hmm? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No, I don't. Oh! Oh! Fucking hell! I'm right. You fucking hell! Oh! Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. I do like the little dunk. Oh, fuck. What were Hello. you doing in there, lad? Nothing! He's my stalker, my my neighbor, Rob. He's in there. I I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was oh god. Now slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. Robert Crow, he's my neighbor and one of my best friends. So I thought. He's the one who's been calling me. Encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh, God, it's so obvious now I think about it. But but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect me. <sighs> no, then. Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Or let it hurt you. Yeah, I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him? See if he needs first aid? I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? Aye. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I... 
I think I do. This is the sepulcher, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. <laughs> the engine of death. Only... Only... Tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you. You and Lang. I know, but I don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. One way or another. Who is us? Me and, well, you'll see soon enough. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and Lassie. I'm sorry about all this. Me too, Don. So I do I wanna check one thing at the moment. I wanna I wanna look up the definition of sepulchre. Which is weird, like I don't know it. I've got friends who are in a band with that name. Oh, right, I see. A sepulchre is essentially a tomb. Right. So this is just a train of death. Taking us on to the afterlife and this will be our tomb for all eternity. Or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what's needed. Am I going in the right place? Over here? Huh. Locked. They sound... 2A. Let's try that. Oh, hello. Let's go and have a chat with Isaiah, shall we? Hey, Isaiah. Hey, Al. How you doing? I'm... I'm surprisingly okay. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... we were? Yeah. I've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend, I guess now. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like, half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Time's... Time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't worry about it. Alright. Sophia took Carly into the other room. Maybe you should... I don't know. Try and patch things up? If you want. Last time, I left it. I blamed them both. I was so sure. So sure. My friends would never talk to me about it. Or maybe I just wouldn't listen. I need to find out what really happened. Maybe tonight I can make things right. Maybe you can. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode off here. Oh. Apparently I can't do anything until I've had this conversation with Isaiah, so... So... Let's get on with in it. In your opinion... In my opinion, she was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. She wasn't having any of it. You walked in... You walked in at the worst time, right? I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. I wondered that. I always did. But Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it too, that he wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. Oh, I mean afterwards, in the weeks after. Wait, that hasn't happened here yet. Never mind. Girl, you're making my head spin with this. My head's anyway, been spinning for ages. My advice is, go talk to Carly. She's sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. Wait, where did Gavin go? He's gone, right? Yeah. Your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him. Real mood killer. Okay. Yeah, it would be. Don't make me feel worse about it. Hey. It was kind of funny, really. At least it was just a plastic cup. Last I saw, he was headed off. Maybe you should call him. Tomorrow. I will tomorrow. Have you seen Rob Robert. about? Don't know the dude. My neighbor. From across the hall. Oh, nah. He ain't been by that I've seen. Okay. Isaiah, you remember those nuisance phone calls? Huh? No, you ain't mentioned that to me. Oh, shit. Yeah. They start in a few days. What? Nothing. Existential crisis. 
don't worry about it. Ugh, man, that's the theme of the night, all right. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Carly. Like I said, she's next door with Sophia. Okay, cool. Have a good night, Isaiah. Peace. All right. Okay. I'm gonna leave things here. This is such a fucking weird game. Uh, everything keeps flipping up on itself and... Yeah, very, very bizarre. Not, still not entirely sure what I make of it. I'm enjoying it. But, yeah. I'm gonna continue this next week. I think we might be drawing to a close sometime soon. I thought this might have wrapped things up this episode, but... It's very talky. There's lots of dialogue going on, so... Uh, it's drawing things out a little bit. But I hope you're all still enjoying this. I know it's a fairly slow-paced game. But I will leave this episode off here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Let's Plays or Metal Covers from me, you can check out the playlists that are on the channel. And you can follow the links in the description below to follow me on social medias. But thank you again for watching this video, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Michio, signing off. Bugs are, are, are a bit more of a problem, I suppose, but trees? No, they're, they're the real enemy.